Hey guys, it's Tiffany from supereasymath.com. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to turn a whole bunch of words into a math problem. Turning a whole bunch of words into a math problem. The flower shop. At a local flower shop, three daisies and six roses cost $87. Also, a combination of five daisies and two roses cost $57. What is the individual price of daisies and roses? Well, first of all, I'm gonna take that first sentence and I can turn that into an equation. And then there's the second sentence. That can be turned into an equation. And then I'm gonna use the systems of equations format to figure out the answer. So first, I'm gonna start with that first sentence. It says, at a local flower shop, three daisies, right here, and six roses cost $87. I'm gonna write that almost exactly as it is, but it's gonna be written in math terms, okay? So I'm gonna write three, and instead of daisies, I'm gonna use the variable D, because it's representing the daisies. And then it says, and six roses. When I see and in math, that's typically gonna be plus, but it, it depends on what the scenario is. In this case, we're talking about addition, okay? So three daisies and, or plus, six roses. I'm gonna do the same setup, write the six. And instead of writing roses, I'm gonna actually just write an R. Cost $87, so that means it equals $87. Now I'm gonna do the same format, but with the second sentence, okay? We've got our first equation or our first scenario. Now we're gonna get another scenario. It says also a combination of five daisies, so I'm gonna write that down, 5D, and two roses plus two R costs $57, equals 57. Now I'm going to solve for a variable. I'm actually gonna use the substitution method to solve this system of equations, okay? I could use the elimination method and I could also graph. If you were to graph, you would need to make a point to clarify that your D is either your X or Y value and your R is either your X or Y value, but it's the same thing. Okay, so if you remember, when you're solving using the substitution method, the first step is to solve for a variable. And I'm gonna solve for the variable r. And it doesn't matter which equation you use, you could use the top one or you use the bottom one. I'm gonna go ahead and use the bottom one just because it's already down at the bottom and I can actually just write directly um, below it. So I'll rewrite 5d plus 2r equals 57. Okay, so I see that. And now I'm gonna solve for R, so I'm gonna get everything on the right side of the equal sign and leave only R on the left side. So I'm gonna subtract 5D from both sides. Get rid of this, I'm left with 2R equals 57 minus 5D. And it would have also been fine for you to write 2R equals negative 5D plus 57. That would have also been fine. Now, I'm going to divide both sides by two. So divide by two here and divide by two here. The twos cancel off and I'm left with R here. And then that equals, you need to divide this two by both of these terms. So I have 57 divided by two, and that would give me 28.5. And I have this minus 5D, so the five is what gets divided by two. And that would end up being a 2.5, or you could leave it as a fraction. So I actually think I'm gonna leave this one as a fraction because I think it, it's gonna be a little smoother for me in my head, okay? So now, this doesn't look like an answer for R, but you have solved for R. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this value and I'm gonna plug it back into one of these equations. It does not matter which one you plug it into. You're gonna do that to calculate your D value. So I'm gonna say, let's plug it into the first one the top equation, the 3D plus 6R equals 87. And I have 3D plus 6, and instead of writing R, I'm gonna write this down here, what I calculated R to equal, and that is 28.5 minus the 5 over 2D. And then I'm not done, I still need to write the 
equals 87 part, okay? Equals 87. Now, I need to distribute this 6. I need to distribute it to the 28.5, and then again over here, to the D term. So I'm going to rewrite everything else, but only solve that portion. 6 times 28.5 is 171. And then you're going to still write your subtraction symbol. See, that came right from there. And then I'm going to write down what 6 times 5 over 2 equals and that is 30 over 2 and then I rewrite the D and then that equals 87 just rewrite that part now I'm looking at this 30 over 2 and I'm like oh well I can actually make that look a whole lot better because that's the same thing as just saying 30 divided by 2 and that would be 15 so I'm gonna take a, a chance to rewrite this and just end up with 15 D and that equals 87 now I'm gonna combine like terms. I got three Ds and I got minus 15 Ds, so I need to combine that. And that's gonna give me negative 12 Ds. And then I'm just gonna rewrite the plus 171 and that equals 87. Now I'm gonna subtract 171 and I get negative 12 D equals whatever 87 minus 171 is and it equals negative 84. Now I'm going to divide by negative 12 on both sides and I'm going to be able to cross out my negative 12s over here and I end up with D equals 7. So if you remember we use D to represent daisies so what this is saying is the cost of a daisy is seven dollars so I'm going to write that here. Daisy is seven dollars. So now I'm gonna choose which equation I wanna plug this seven into. You can pick either one, and I'm actually gonna show you that you're gonna get the same answer no matter which one you put it into. So I'm gonna do it twice. I'm gonna put it into the top one, and then I'm gonna put it into the bottom one. So right now, let's do the 3D. So we got three, and instead of D, I'm gonna write seven, and then plus six R equals 87. 3 times 7 is 21, plus 6R equals 87. Subtract 21 from both sides. 21 is canceled. I'm left with 6R equals whatever 87 minus 21 is, and that is 66. Then I divide by 6, divide by 6 on both sides. The 6s cancel out, and I'm left with R equals 11. So this is telling me that the roses are $11. So now what I'm gonna do is write rose up here and I'm gonna put 11. Now I'm gonna do it one more time and take this D value down here that I told you that I got and plug it into the second equation just to prove to you that it didn't matter which one you put it in, you would have still gotten R equals 11 both times. So we're doing that one right now. And I'm going to rewrite it, except for D, I'm going to plug in 7. So it's not 5D, it's 5 times 7, plus 2R equals 57. Well, 5 times 7 is 35, plus 2R equals 57, minus 35, minus 35, get rid of this. 2r equals whatever 57 minus 35 is, and that is 22. Now I'm going to divide by 2 on both sides, get rid of this, and I'm left with r equals 11. So there you have it. It didn't matter which one you plugged it in. You would have gotten r equals 11 or roses cost $11 either way. You can find more of my videos on my website supereasymath.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Did you find this video helpful? You can support this channel by donating to Super Easy Math through PayPal. There's a link to it in the description section below this video and on the Super Easy Math YouTube cover photo.